here we are then, back in the garage on yet another glorious day. Still got blue skies outside, white fluffy clouds, not grey at all. It's nice and warm, it's lovely and cool in here. As we've said in all the previous videos, things have moved on a little bit. I've got that in, because previously up there, in these gaps between the joists, that was all concrete, but that was all crumbly and rotten. When the roof came down, I wanted to took part of the roof off, so I've had to make that. Now, the way I've made that, you might be able to see there's a few layers of wood in there to, uh, to cover the holes and uh, fill the gap in so it's all nice and level. And here's what I'm in the middle of making. Now, I had to go and get a fence post. So this bit here is a 3x3 fence post. That bit there is a bit of that wood over there I had lying around. And this bit on top is a bit of this that I've just cut off. These two are two blocks cut from a bit of scrap wood I had lying around. So the idea is that I'll, uh, I'll screw this bit into that bit and I'll screw obviously that bit into that bit and then once this goes up there between the joists I can screw these two end pieces through here straight in the side of the joists up there pretty much like I've done with this one now you can see the screws there going through into the joist and in that one as well now it's all screwed in and bolted together so it's all nice and solid nothing's going to shift it it will need strapping to the wall same as that one has been in fact, the same as they all have been, the straps all the way along. But I do have some of the strap stuff to go on across the top when it's all done. I have still got this to do, all these noggins, to fill that empty space. There's obviously all that's got to come down as well, but I've got these noggins to make yet. So they'll be next on the cards once I get this bit screwed together and screwed up in there. And that's that one in. So I've got that one in, got that one in. These little gaps of daylight you can see everywhere. Don't worry about those. They'll be filled up once it gets uh, completed and insulated. It's nowhere near finished yet. So we've got that one in. We've got that one in. Now I've just got the noggins done. In order to do that though, I'm going to need a bigger pair of ladders. Now I need to take this down. What's left of uh, of the original roof. Now it was, by the looks of it, OSB board to start with. But obviously the weather has destroyed that. And the, the, leak, the leaks in the roof have, uh, have made a complete mess of that. So I need to get that down because I need to get the noggins in. In these joists so i can get the new roof going on this is what the top of the roof looks like or what's left of it as you can see there's a fair way to go get everything sorted but it looks as well when you've got four joists one two three four it's like four joists to work on but this is what's left of the original part of the roof and then this is the new part of the roof now that's all stayed on throughout the course of all the storms we had through the winter you'll have to excuse the wind noise as well it's a little bit drafty up here but there's not a lot of this left left of the roof. And of course the reason I'm doing all this is to try and make most make the most of this weather because it's another lovely day here. The sun's out, it's nice and warm. It really makes a change. 
eso a mí me gusta. Get a lot of the woodwork side of replacing the roof done. I can start putting new panels on. measuring the problem I have with measuring is that this garage when it was built wasn't built to standard spec specifications of a normal sized garage single garage in the UK it was built to a measured size by a previous owner of the house for the car that he was building that was in here and he wanted the garage to be big enough to put the car in so he could walk around it when he was building the car just out of interest in case you're interested the car he was building was a Ferrari Testarossa kit car, so a replica kit car. And uh, in order to get the carriage the right size, he laid the concrete base down, which isn't fantastic, to be honest, but it'll do. But he laid the concrete base down, and then he painted or drew the measurements and the specs and the size of the car on the concrete and built the garage around the concrete. So because he's built it by hand, it's not exactly square in many places, so there's no point in measuring the gap between this joist and that joist and then thinking, right, I need five noggins that are all that size because the garage not being square, each noggin tends to be a slightly different size as you're making them, at least it was on these ones that I did back here. So what I've done, and I'm getting a length of waste wood, and I've put some markings on it. Now the panels that I've got, there's these panels here that you can see, they're, I think, three, four inches longer than the few panels that are sitting behind the camera there. So I've got two lengths of wood, and I put some lines on them. I don't know if you can see, this one obviously says long panel on there. But that's for one of the screw holes. And then that one takes it to another screw hole. And then for the next one, you get the noggin in place. It's used this end and that one there. And that gives you... A measurement for where the noggins need to be for all the screws that are pre-drilled in these panels to line up perfectly with the noggins. I need to make another noggin but first of all I've got to get up the ladder measure where it's going to be. So I think if I'm right because I have got the first one in I cheated a little bit yesterday off camera and I did the first one and see if it would work but obviously I'll show you how I do the rest of them. So I'm going from the second hole in this panel to the next one which means I need to have the spacing is from the spacings from this end of the bit of wood all the way down to that final mark there if you saw that so as you can see from up here I've got this bit here I know it's sitting on that joist but ignore that one this bit's actually lined up pretty much with the middle of the noggin that I put in last night so that there's Mary's right in the middle of there if I follow that along to this line here, you can see that's sitting, hopefully you can see that there, it's sitting pretty much in the middle of that noggin there. So what I need to do then is make a noggin that will go from here across to there, that lines up perfectly with that. We're back on the scorpion again. Let's go see if this fits. Typically, I've run out of brackets, so uh, I'm going to pop out, get some brackets, and then when I get back, we'll get that one attached permanently, and we'll move on to the next one. It's getting good, this. There should be some panels going on shortly. Yes, we're going to have a garage soon. Ha! Right, back in a couple of seconds for you. Now, these screws, in case you're wondering, are 6 millimeters by 50 millimeters. They're plenty long enough to go through the brackets, into the noggin, into the joist, hold everything in place, no real weight going on here. In case you're wondering, 
that's what one of the brackets looks like right so that's uh, this noggin's in two brackets either side four screws on each side that noggin's in two brackets each side four screws each side all I need to do now is do the rest of the noggins but you've seen me do that so I'll get the rest of those bits done off camera and that should be this whole strip finished there's a bit more roof to come off there and then three more noggins and I can start putting a panel on there you saw this morning how I measured the noggin cut the noggin now you've seen how it's in place and brawled it up and bracketed up this stuff here is builder's band comes on a big reel like that from screw fix the reason I've got the cable tie on it is when you take the sticky tape off when you first get it it tends to spring out so I just put a cable tie on to hold it together I can just pull off however much I need without having to worry about it and what that does is it helps strap this bit of wood down and hold it in place so I've just got this bit to put back in and then I think we'll be ready to start putting uh, metal panels up here let's get these in get this last bit done now I'm putting two screws in here just to make sure it holds it so there's two in this side two on the top and two on the other side and that's just a case of pulling this down for the length that I need and it's dead easy to cut with tin snips whatever length you need it to be or want it to be so I'm using these wonderful concrete screws and they're going to go straight in there strap that to the wall Just pull it tight where we need it to be. So that will hold that in place if it gets a bit windy outside it'll stop it falling off or lifting for these next two sections that's uh, all the noggins are in straight over the top of my head all the noggins are in on that one as well so now it's just a case of setting everything up getting some metal panels on here go all the way across there fill in that gap there and hopefully get that done before the rain starts because as you can see we had a bit of rain over nice but it's not too much of a problem because I've got tarpaulins everywhere so everything that's important is covered that's covered more on that in the later date and everything over here is covered and protected if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to caress the like button on the way out and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with me getting the garage roof finished and then start work back on the cars again because I really need to get all the cars on the road or at least something running and have some fun with the cars I have had quite a substantial amount of new subscribers recently based on the last review that i put out thank you very much for subscribing and supporting the channel hopefully you're going to enjoy it just in case you're new here i'll put a link up here to the playlist for everything else we've done on the garage and the reason why i do it thanks for watching this one we'll see you in the next one bye for now